right, Shibuya is finally here, and if you haven't been keeping up so far, let me give you a quick rundown. So Mekamaru ended up ratting out Jujutsu High to get his body fixed, then very quickly lost his body again. I mean, Jesus Christ, dude, you couldn't have went for a walk at least? You know, enjoy the ability to move around with your own two legs? He was in that bathtub for 17 years, and the second he regained the ability to move, he decided to go box with Mahito. From there, four curtains are cast over Shibuya with normal people being trapped inside. But more importantly, Gojo ended up getting sealed inside of this prison realm and basically being absent from the story from this point forward. Which means as Mahito, Jogo, Hanami, and Mr. took back shots multiple times for his plan all tear through Shibuya, the people that remain there have to try and stop them without Gojo. People like Nanami, the emo angsty teen turned depressed dad himself. But after he splits up from Yuji and Megumi, he finds Kiyotaka in a pool of blood. And Kiyotaka is basically just the school's assistant director. In the curtains over Shibuya, there is no cell service, so the sorcerers there have to rely on supervisors that he oversees. He's really important, essentially, which also makes him and all of the supervisors guided through the city targets. One of these targets being Nita Akari, who's traveling through the city looking for Kiyotaka with Nobara. As they walk through the streets, they run into Harata, the person responsible for most, if not all, of the dead supervisors around them. Nobara tells Nita to hide, but Harata just ignores her and chases after this poor defenseless woman. Like you are getting nails sent flying towards your head and your number one priority is punk kicking this poor lady at full force. What is wrong with you? Nobra gets close enough to hit him but he swings his zombie hand sword at her. She dodges and slings some more nails his way before he deflects them into the ceiling. Then the ceiling just caves in and crushes him. And you may be thinking to yourself, oh, that's it? I expected a bit more of a fight. Yeah, well I did too before Harata's sword clocked Nobra in the face. Now that was just a cheap shot. How was she supposed to prepare for some DoorDash CTE? Haruta's curse technique makes him really lucky and able to withstand attacks that should be able to kill him. With luck like that, it's no wonder why he stabs Nita in the butt and then starts monologuing to a concussed Nobra on the floor. Eventually she wobbles to her feet and as Haruta is about to deliver the finishing blow, the glass shatters by the entrance to this mall that they're in. And I know they who I think it is because Nanami steps through the window frame and just stands there letting Nobra get a few hits in. Haruta kicks her away and Nanami is like, oh nah, you can't be hitting my daughter like that. He tears off his tie, wraps it around his fist, then starts walking towards this man. This distraction is enough for Nita to escape and when Haruta turns his head back around after searching for her, finds that Nanami is waiting right behind him. Haruta slashes Nanami but it doesn't cut him and then kicks Nanami but it doesn't move him. I started getting scared myself because how are you going to kick a man full force and it doesn't even make him take a step back. He ate that kick with no reaction or anything. I would have left that building. Nanami looks this man in the eyes after that weak little kick and says, I'm gonna ask you this once. Where are your friends? The second Arata starts stuttering, he punches him in the face and sends him tumbling over a counter and into a glass display case. I don't think you understand, but he's dead. Like he punched him so hard it killed him. The only reason he isn't in a body bag right now is because of his curse technique. Nanami grabs him by his ugly little ponytail, then bends down on one knee and says, I'm gonna ask you one more time. Where are your friends? Then when he doesn't answer, he punches him in the gut so hard it not only kills him again, but it causes the lights to flicker. Haruta's hand sword tries stabbing him from behind, and to be honest, what did you expect to happen here? It doesn't matter if Nobra blocked it, he was gonna eat that slice too. But that little attack him, tested the last of Nanami's patience. He lifts him up by his throat, holds him above the ground, and says, on my way here, I saw a bunch of dead supervisors. That was you, right? Tears start pouring down this man's face because no matter what he says in this moment, his fate is sealed. Nanami drops him and punches him mid-air so hard to the point he starts rolling to the other side of the street like Sonic the Hedgehog. So hard that when he crashes into the building on that side, he LED board crashes down and crushes him underneath it. And nothing else of note happens. Yeah, that's basically all of Shibuya. Nothing else happens past this point and everyone gets a happy ending. Including Gojo, who got freed by somebody, I don't know, but that doesn't matter. There is no more Shibuya after this point. There is no war in Bossing Say. Good night, everyone. Please let me be delusional. I hate Shibuya. Oh my god.